it has emerged that the three-year-old marriage between former aviation minister, Femi Fani Kayot, and precious Chikwendu has hit the rocks and threatening to explode in dramatic fashion, Sahara reporters has learned. But to cover up the atrocious abuse of his current wife, Mr. Fani Kayot, who had had a hat trick of marriages before meeting Precious, with whom he has a son has accused implicitly accused the federal government of planning to assassinate his wife, this was contained in the fake prophecy given by controversial priest, Apostle Seelman for 2018. In reality, unknown Romani Fani Kayot had accused his wife of infidelity. The woman, disclosed family sources, is said to be pregnant with a set of triplets. However, the husband is said to be denying responsibility. The former minister, in a text message to members of his family and friends to him and his wife, said he was reliably informed that the children Precious is carrying are not mine. The man responsible for the pregnancy, said Mr. Fani Kayot, is a US-based disc jockey. Also in the text, which had the family of the former National Security Advisor, Colonel Sambo Dasuki, in copy, the former minister told friends that he no longer wants to have anything to do with the wife, advising their friends not to render financial assistance to her. I urge you to please cut off from her and not to help her in any way. She has told the world that you intend to help her with money and I urge you to be very wary of doing so. No friend of hers can remain mine. I urge you to be very careful of this mad, ungrateful, deceitful and treacherous woman, he warned friends. Sources close to the distressed marriage told Sahara reporters that Mr. Fani Kayod started physically abusing Precious from the first year of the marriage, a fate that befell her three predecessors. The violence, this website was told, increased as the years went by. He was said to have ordered her to abort the pregnancy that resulted in their son. Precious ignored him but got savage beating including on her belly, for the recalcitrance. It has grown worse with the allegation of infidelity. A source said when Mr. Fani Kayod came up with the allegation of infidelity, he hit the woman very violently in presence of their house help, who he threatened with a gun by sticking the weapon in her mouth to warn her against squealing. Precious Chikwendu and Femi Fani Kayot he also instructed his bodyguard to hit Precious, who has since left their home and now sleeps at her boutique at Abrika Estate, U Zone 4, Abuja. She is also said to have been relieved of the Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon bought for her by Mr. Fani Kayot from the copious sums of money made during his time as spokesperson of former President Goodluck Jonathan's campaign organization. Precious, according to a source, is back to driving 2009 Honda car and has had her police escort withdrawn by the husband. Controversial preacher, Mr. T.B. Joshua, is said to have waited in and invited Precious to Lagos, buying her flight tickets. But all the horrors Precious has been subjected to are masked by the husband's extravagant show of confected affection on Facebook. On his Facebook page on Wednesday, Mr. Fani Kayot posted a picture of himself and Precious accompanied with a post claiming that the tainted Apostle Suleiman exposed a plot assassinate my beautiful wife, Precious Chikwendu, in 2018. The post, fizzing with the doctrinal lingo, described Precious as the daughter of Zion, hidden in Christ and covered by the blood of Jesus. This conveys the impression that things are smooth with them, a tactic he used in the case of Regina, his immediate former wife and mother of the last of his five daughters, Rami. Regina, again Anne, 
said sources was a victim of serious abuse and had to put up with Mr. Fanikayod's relentless womanizing. But even on her last birthday, he was effusive on Facebook. His first wife, Sarah Tuita, whom he married when he was 22, was also regularly pummeled. Sources said the woman, daughter of the late Mr. Adan Witta, was viciously beaten for requesting a swimming pool in their home on Marine Road in Apapa, Lagos. When his father, the late Chief Remy Finikayot, the beating intensified. The next marriage was to Yemizi Otsinya, daughter of a judge. She is now known as Yemizi Wada after remarrying. In newspaper interviews, the woman told stories of Mr. Fanikayod's viciousness and lack of care for their daughters, the reason for which he was excluded from the marriage of one of them, Tematap, in 2014. Despite the disconnect between him and the children, he never fails to advertise his love for them on Facebook on their birthdays.